Well, hello there. I'm Kim Berry, editor of Food and Drink Business. Welcome to Play, our weekly news roundup brought to you by GS1 Australia. GS1 is the go-to for all your barcode needs, so head over to gs1au.org and discover next generation 2D barcodes. They're a game changer for food and drink businesses. Firstly, the Hive Awards. They were a huge success. Congratulations to all the winners. Your wise words when you uh, were presented with your trophies were really quite moving and inspiring. The room was just packed full of people who just have so much passion and energy for our uh, industry. It was really uplifting and a very thoroughly enjoyable afternoon. In the news this week, Coca-Cola Euro Pacific Partners has sold Feral Brewing. It's sold the Feral Brewing Brewery to another craft brewer called Beer Farm, who have some very uh, ambitious plans to expand its international distribution and also looking at overseas markets. Uh, the Feral Brewery will allow Beer Farm to triple its output. And meanwhile, the Feral brand has been bought by another craft brewer, uh, Nail Brewing, and a consortium of investors. So it will continue as an independent craft beer. It will be produced at what was its <laughs> brewery, uh, but is now owned by Beer Farm. So it's all one big, happy craft brewing family. Yay. Suntory Oceana. Uh, has given its latest update on its $400 million carbon neutral manufacturing and distribution centre in Ipswich, Queensland, and the solar panels have gone on. Now, now it's actually worth having a little bit of announcement because there's 7,000 of them. And uh, you put them, you know, end to end, and it's about 14 kilometres of solar panels. There's been a bird flu outbreak in Meredith in Victoria, it's only, uh, news only broke yesterday, so um, at the time of recording this, they're still uh, looking into what strain of bird flu it is. My understanding is, whatever strain it is, uh, it's a very complex viral infection for chickens. And if a poultry farmer, if there is, a, if there is an outbreak, then, then their entire stock has to um, be destroyed. I can't imagine how heartbreaking that would be for a farmer of any of any animal, but uh, there you have it. Apparently, the main way it gets distributed is through wild birds, and migratory birds are apparently a really big issue because you know they fly around the world and bring goodness knows what with them from hither and yon. And so you would be pretty annoyed, wouldn't you, if you have absolute watertight biosecurity measures on your property and then some, you know, fly by night migratory bird decides to just take a little bit of a rest in your pond, in your dam, in your pond. <sighs> yeah, you can tell I come from the property, from the land. Oh my God. Um, <clears throat> Top Shelf International, they're the producers of uh, Grain Shaker Vodka and Ned Whiskey and as of this year, Act of Treason Australian Agave. They've announced that they're, um, rate, they're doing a capital raise for $13.9 million. They are gonna put about five or six million of that towards paying down its debt, and the rest will go into the kitty as working capital. They've got a number of big milestones that they need to hit in the next 15 months, so that money is gonna be rather important. Uh, they also went into a sale and leaseback agreement on their agave farm uh, earlier this year for the same uh, motivations. So uh, with that, I think that's enough this week. Uh, head to the website for these stories and more, foodanddrinkbusiness.com.au and please don't forget to subscribe and tell your colleagues to do the same. And with that, I'm Kim Berry, over and out.